Now we have our transaction signature, we have our success, and if we check our phantom wallet, we actually received our NFT using only Node.js. Hello guys, in this video I will show you how can you transfer Solana NFT from one wallet to another using only Node.js and Solana's official library. And for this video I'm going to take NFT from one wallet and hopefully transfer it to another using only code. So now without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So you will find the full project in description on GitHub and now let's start by opening our terminal. So we're going to start a terminal and create our Node.js project, so npm init. So I'm going to create empty project, none of this matters. And now we are going to install two official Solana libraries. First library is uh, Solana Web JS. This library is built on top of uh, Solana's JSON RPC API. And second library we are going to install is uh, Solana SPO token and this library is used to communicate with on-chain programs to create tokens, mint tokens on in a, or in our case transfer our tokens which is NFT. So after we installed our libraries we are going to create a new file mainnet.js and inside this file we are going to import both of our libraries. So this is web3 and this is spare token. Now we are going to open our asynchronous function and don't forget to add parentheses at the end or you won't be able to call your program. Now inside brackets we are going to create connection to Solana and now we are going to connect to mainnet beta, so this is mainnet beta cluster or you can connect to testnet or devnet cluster first uh, to test your stuff which I encourage you to do before you uh, dip your toes in mainnet. And now we're going to connect to the wallet which has our NFT we want to transfer. So we're going to take key pair array, turn this into uint8 array and provide this to key pair from secret key. And we're going to generate our key pair uh, from this secret key. And I already generated my key pair but I'm going to show you how can you make yours. So I'm going to comment this out. You can use built-in function web3.keypair.generate and by doing this you are going to generate your own paper wallet with both uh, public key key pair and private key key pair. And now if you can so lock this key pair which you just made, we can see. As you can see now you can see your public key key pair and your secret key key pair. And you are going to take this key pair and provide inside this function, which I already did, I have my key pair. And I'm even going to show you this key pair because I will delete this uh, wallet after I have done this video. So this is my key pair which has this NFT and you can not even waste your time to try to connect to this wallet because I will remove everything from this wallet after this video. So now this is my key pair, we are going to create this key pair now we actually connect it to our wallet if we call this function. So this is my wallet key pair which has this NFT in it and you can not waste your time connecting to this wallet because I will remove everything from this wallet after I have done this video. So now we provided our key pair for this function and uh, we have our key pair from this secret key. So after you connect it to your wallet, we are going to have to provide a token mint address, which is NFT mint address. You can find this address by going to whatever explorer you have, going to your NFT you want to transfer and taking uh, this uh, address. And uh, then you're going to have to provide a wallet which will receive NFT you want to transfer. And in my case token mint address is this, of this NFT. And this address will receive my NFT after a transfer. And after you provide your information we are going to create a new asynchronous function. So we are going to create function transfer which will take token mint address, your key pair, who will receive this uh, NFT connection to mainnet and how much NFT you want to transfer. So in my case just one. And right below our function we are going to create this transfer function. And inside here we are going to take our token mint address and encode it. And so after encoding it is this public key will look like this, which is the format we need to use inside transactions. And here we are going to use our spell token library and call token constructor to create our mint token. And we are going to have to provide connection 
to Solana uh, public key of this token and the token program ID of this uh, program we're going to use and the wallet which has this uh, NFT right now or this token. And so after that we are going to get our associated account at which our mint token is located and for this we are going to provide our public key of wallet at which NFT is located. And if you want video about what are accounts inside Solana Network, comment in the description because explaining what is accounts inside Solana is pretty complicated stuff and you're go it's going to take a new world video for this. So we have our NFT token account at which our NFT is located and now we're going to have to check if receiver actually has the same kind of account on his wallet. Because if he doesn't have the same kind of account on his wallet, we actually won't be able to transfer this NFT. And to do that, we are going to take our uh, receiver public key in base uh, 58 and throw this in the public key again, just like before in here. And after we have our encoded public key, we are going to get our token address and this public key, which we are going to send our NFT to. And we're going to see if any account with this specific address exists inside this uh, wallet account. And after all of this, we're going to create our transaction. So we're going to call web free transaction constructor. And like I said before, we're going to check if receiver actually has the account which can receive this NFT. And like I said before, we're going to check if receiver actually has the account which can receive this NFT. So this method returns null in case he doesn't have this account. And we're actually going to create this account for him. And to do that, we're going to provide instruction to this transaction with create associated token account instruction. And provide associated program ID, program ID of this mid token, public key of this token, uh, this uh, address of this account which needed uh, to send this token, public key of account we want to create this account for, and our wallet public key which will pay fee for creation of this account. So we provided instructions in case receiver uh, doesn't have an account and we're going to create one for him. So in case he does have account or we created one for him, we're going to now provide instructions to actually transfer our NFT. And to do that, we're going to provide this instruction uh, token program ID public key. Then we're going to give a uh, from which account we're going to send this NFT from. Then we're going to uh, give destination to which account we are actually going to send this NFT. Then we're going to provide uh, who will pay the fee for this transaction. So in our case, it's wallet public key, our wallet. Then we're going to sign this transaction, but we actually don't need to sign it here because we don't need to sign this right now. And we are going to provide how much NFT or tokens we're going to send. So in our case, it's just one. And now all that's left is just to sign our transaction and send it to Solana Smart Chain. And to do that we're going to use this function send and confirm transaction. And we're going to provide to this function our connection to cluster we use uh, transaction we want to send and wallet uh, to sign our transaction. And after this we're going to get our signature meaning signature of this transaction so we can look at this transaction later and in case we have error we're going to console log error but in case everything is okay we are going to print uh, this signature to check our transaction and just say it's success so now let's try to send this transaction and before we send the transaction let me show you this account which has nft right now so i sent some solana to this account so it can actually make transactions and this is the NFT I will send. So, Soul Junks, this is the NFT. And this is the account I will send it to. This is the other account which will receive a NFT. So, 6 Yimi, which has no NFT right now, as you can see. No NFT, no money. Now, let's go back to the code and actually send our transaction. But before we send the transaction, let me fix one error. I provided the wrong address. This is my public key of this wallet. But I actually need to provide token mint address, which is this one. Now, the moment of truth, we are going to send this transaction. Not mainnet.js. And let's see what happens. 
Now we have our transaction signature, we have our success, and if we check our phantom wallet, we actually received our NFT using only Node.js. And now if I check my other wallet, which I sent NFT from, you can see it is actually empty when we and we successfully sent our NFT from one wallet to another using only Node.js. This is the end of this video, thank you for watching, if you liked this video, like, subscribe, comment, comment if you want to see more on this channel, maybe you want to see more of Solana development, like how can you deploy your first smart contract, or how to make your first uh, NFT collection, and yeah, if you want to have something to say, say this in the comments, and see you soon.